Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Chris ZT and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys the best ISO build. Now, I talked about this yesterday in my point guard build video. If you guys have not seen that video, go check it out. It is on my channel. If you guys want to know how I made my point guard that you guys are going to be seeing for pretty much the rest of the year, I love that build. I've been playing on it. I'm like level 10 right now. I played a bunch of rec center last night and now it is 6 a.m. and I am bringing you guys this ISO build for you guys. Um, Now, Honestly, this build looks really good. I really need to make this build and actually test it. But on paper, this build looks absolutely amazing. So I'm going to show you guys the pie chart right now. All right, so the pie chart you guys are going to be going with is this one right here. It's a strong blue with shooting and then obviously the bit of playmaking and defense. Now, this build right here, in my personal opinion, will be the closest thing we can get to a BP build in 2K22 current gen. Like I said, this is current, as you guys can tell by the pie chart. Now, with that being said, this pie chart, honestly, I think will be the best ISO build in the game. You will be able to get contact dunks at, I think, either 98 or 99. I'm not sure which one, but you're going to want to go with this pie chart right here. Now, for the attributes, or uh, excuse me, for the physical profile first, what you can do is go pure speed, or you can go with uh, speed vert. The, the difference is, I don't think it's too massive. Um, your vertical is going to be like a 90, maybe like a 92 or a 95. I'm not, I'm not sure what the vertical is going to be, but I'm going to go pure speed just because, um, I want to be as fast as possible. Now, with that being said for the attributes, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with all the badge counts and stuff. So give me one second. So after carefully looking at each and every single attribute, I feel like this looks like the best badge count. I can get 16, 16, 15, and six. Now it may not look like much. But when I adjust the wingspan and everything, it will look a lot better. So I'm going to go with defined body shape. And now for the height, this one, you have to sit there at six foot three. Otherwise, when you try to adjust the, the weight, the height, excuse me, um, the driving dunk goes down by minus one there. You do not want that. So just stay at six foot three. Obviously, for the weight, you're going to want to go as low as possible until it doesn't affect it. So 173 pounds is what you're going to want to go with. Now for the wingspan. This right here is where many of you may think to yourself, you know, this build is not going to be able to shoot that well. But trust me, after playing, literally every single person in this game can shoot. I was playing with a 56 three-pointer red blue in a rec center uh, last night, and that build was just greening way too much. I would say he was greening like 50% of his shots. And you guys got to keep in mind, I didn't have Dimer, Floor General. He doesn't, he doesn't have any hot spots. He gets like six shooting badges on that build, so... You guys got to realize shooting badges are going to be everything and you can already green without any shooting badges, which is what's crazy to me. So with a wingspan, what we're going to do is go right here to 82.2. You're going to have an 82 driving dunk in this game. That will mean I am pretty sure that contact dunks are 85, which would mean you need a 98 overall to be able to get contact dunks and 86. Obviously, you'll get it at 99. Now, your three pointer is going to be 81 at 99 and your ball control will be 86. And I'm pretty sure the threshold, the maximum threshold in this game is 85 for ball, uh, for uh, dribble moves, excuse me. Kind of, I'm not kind of all over the place. I apologize, guys. Um, but 80 ball control is what I've seen for the threshold. Now, Mike Wang did say 85. Like I said, I have absolutely no idea. But honestly, this build looks really good. Um, obviously, you get the gold playmaking, but the gold playmaking is more than enough. I have gold playmaking on my um, other guard because I'm not using any Hall of Fames currently, and it you move so fast in this game. If you guys have seen any gameplay, you move so fast in this game. Now, I think that build looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Now, for the takeover, I don't actually know what to go with. Obviously, slashing take would be very cool. But in 2K20, when I made my BP, I very much regretted having slashing take. So what I think I'm going to do, this may be a bit of a bold thing. I don't know how on earth you can get locked down takeover, by the way. I guess it has to do with the wingspan. But what I'm going to do is go with playmaking takeover because then your uh, ball handle will be boosted a lot. It is called a slashing playmaker. Now I'm going to get into the badges that you're going to want to put on once you have Max's ghost holding. All right. So after looking at all the finishing badges, I feel like with the 16 potential upgrades that you can have, this looks like a very good uh, badge layout. So fast twitch speeds up standing layups or dunks around the rim. This looks pretty good. I actually haven't tried it, but off the surface, this should look very good. Limitless takeoff, this badge looks like, honestly, it looks like the best finishing badge in the game. If this works correctly, it looks like the best finishing badge in the game. Obviously, Giant Slayer, Heinz effective as layups over taller defenders. That's always nice because you are going to be a, kind of a slasher and you're going to be ISOing or, you know, however you want to play it with this build. Now, for post drives, obviously, 
this badge keep in mind guys this badge will only work once you have contact dice equipped so if if you have your finishing badges max which you probably will and you are not a 98 overall don't use posterizer put it on like um mouse in the house or slithery finisher probably um actually don't recommend slithery finisher too much because um it avoids contact when attacking the rim and unstrippable this is protects the ball by trying to do a layup or dunk this is basically like um what's that badge unpluckable but for uh when you're driving to the basket honestly i think having this on bronze is is going to be very good and if this if this doesn't work on bronze and it has to work on gold you can just take off like badge points off of the hall of fame badges now i'm gonna move on to the shooting badges so give me one second so after looking at the shooting badges this is what i've come up with silver blinders and silver deadeye this is basically like this has become unfazed by defenders from the side. Obviously, you guys know what Blinders was from uh, next gen last year, if you guys remember that badge. Um, reduces the impact of a defender who's closing out Deadeye. Honestly, I love the Deadeye badge. I, I honestly think it's needed this year because there's a lot of, like, closeout contests that I think you can avoid with Deadeye. I'm not too sure yet, but you should be able to avoid that with Deadeye. Now, Green Machine, obviously. Do, do I really have to explain why Green Machine is very good? Gonna have that on gold. Hot Zone Hunter, obviously, if you have Hot Zones, have that on gold. If you don't, then, you know, it is what it is. Now... This is my biggest dilemma in this game. I actually am not sure which one the limitless badge is in this game. Like, I know this says increases the range for off the dribble three-point shots, but that to me sounds like you're fading. But this right here, limitless spot up, boosts the range that one can effectively shoot standing three-point shots. Theoretically, when you're quick stopping, you're standing. So honestly, Mike Wang is going to have to like clarify that for us because I actually have no idea. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys and be like, oh, this is the best, this is the best badges. This is for limitless. I actually have no idea. Now for stop and pop, boots charging on standstill three pointers after dribbling. I think this badge is going to be amazing. This is one of the only badges that when I was actually practicing all the badges in like my career, like you know, the test builder stuff. Um, this badge is popping up like every single time off of a quick stop, off of like any dribble move, really. Um, this badge is popping up. Now we're gonna move on to the playmaking badges. You only get 15. That'll be five gold badges. Depends on how I do it. So let's get into it. All right. So for the playmaking badges, this was very quick for me. I literally made like a 10 second cut. That's all you guys are going to notice. Bailout on bronze, gold handles for days, gold hyperdrive, gold quick first step, and gold quick chain, and silver unpluckable. That's 15 right there. Boom. Um, I don't think you... There is a bug in the game. Listen to this, guys. There's a bug in the game. If you ankle break someone, you get error coded. I know. Sounds pretty awesome like jesus christ man okay anyways obviously these are necessity quick chain i think quick chain is the new quick first step quick first step i don't really notice it that much but quick chain this badge is absolutely broken like you're gonna be dribbling like the professor like as corny as that sounds but dude you dribble so fast with this badge and i can only imagine i don't think i've used it on hall of fame but i can only imagine just how great it is a hall of fame you're not gonna use floor general on this build unless you really want to um, unpluckable, you kind of have to because your ball control is only an 82 when you're first starting out. But yeah, I think those um, I think those planking badges are pretty good. Now, for the defensive badges, I'm going to do this on the fly with you guys. Um, honestly, since this build, listen, since this build is six foot three and has a high wingspan, honestly, passing lanes in this game, if you guys have played this game at all, passing lanes in this game are absolutely broken. Like, if you have a high wingspan and you're using Interceptor, you're, you're going to get so many passing lanes. It's absolutely insane. Like, once you're, like... Once, if you guys are going to be competing in events and stuff, and you guys know how you have to end games fast and blah, 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 and all that stuff. Dude, Interceptor mixed with, like... I can only imagine how great locks are going to be at that. And this build is going to be insane at it because your wingspan is higher, like I said. So, Interceptor on Silver, Silver Intimidator. Obviously, Intimidator's nice. Um, I might bump down Interceptor to Bronze and then have Chase down on Bronze because... Chase down on bronze, I believe, is still very good. But that's my defensive badges. Obviously, you only get six. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Now, I'm going to leave a little treat for you guys. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys my dribble moves I have on my other player, the point guard. So, give me one second. All right. So, for my dribble moves, this is it right here. Dribble style power. Signature size ups. Um, I know if, I don't know if that's Lonzo Ball or Lamelo Ball. I'm not sure. Signature combos. Kyrie. Trey Young, size up escape, moving crossover, Michael Jordan, moving right in the back, Damian Lillard, moving spin, basic. That's pretty much like basic one for every other year. Kevin Durant moving as he, Kyrie Irving moving step back. And these are all subject to change, keep in mind, because I've had the game for, I think, like eight hours. I've been able to fully test it on the, on uh, my my player. But right now, this is what I'm working with. This is what my player is looking like right now. Um, I have four shooting, seven playmaking. Um, yeah, just right there, if you guys are wondering what I'm kind of rocking. 
um this is my attributes currently but yeah without further ado i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i know i kind of threw this in at the end but i love you guys man this is going to be an amazing year for content i'm going to be focusing on content i have already made my first ever nba player build on this game that'll be coming up very soon let me know in the comment section if you guys want that now with that being said i love you guys man have a great day